really good to you know get a uh, different opinion from you know someone with such a vast experience and you know even talking about his dirt experience and just really opens your opens your eyes to different sort of racing and the different racing especially in America so different to the stuff in Australia so uh, it's been really good and you know he's someone with such experience in motorsport just someone you can really you know bounce off and get amazing feedback from so It's been the best week of my life, by far. I've learnt that much that I didn't even realise was like part of motorsport, which is really good. This week has been um, really amazing. You know, all the, all the drivers, we got to have a taste of three completely different cars between the TCR, Trans Am and S5000. Um, it's a good opportunity because really they're sort of the polar opposites in, in Australian motorsport and there's little bits and pieces to take out of all the cars, you know. We've really been able to develop our skill sets to then transfer over into our other racing ventures and for myself it's Trans Am so the skills I was able to learn in the TCR and the S5000 I think I can then apply to uh, Trans Am when we're, we come back in uh, early Feb. This week's just been firstly really cool to sample these cars and it's been a great experience to learn off people like Marcus Ambrose, you know, a two-time supercar champion and a NASCAR race winner. What more could you ask for learning off someone like him? And also having the pro drivers here, Jimmy Golding, Dylan O'Keefe and James Moffat, they've been really, really insightful. So that's been the big game for me this week, learning off those guys. I've really enjoyed this week with Gary Rogers Motorsport here at uh, Simmons Plains for the GRM Combine. Um, probably the highlight for me was the TCR. I really enjoyed the front wheel drive and the different aspects of driving. Well, we picked six drivers from different places, different states, uh, different levels of experience. And so for us, for our first combine, it's been a ripping success, I think. We found you know, a couple of guys who are really ready to go pro racing. I mean, they're as good as our, our current pro drivers. The other drivers have been building through, and the confidence that I've seen put into them during the week has been excellent. So thrilled with our week. Uh, it's been, been really solid. The two tracks are great training tracks. The cars have been... You know, really reliable and, and a great test for the drivers. Yeah. And the thing I sort of noticed, you know, I mean, I'm not a technical review, of course, but uh, from the start of the week, watching probably the, the lesser experienced ones mm. to how they were on Monday to how they're finished today, like you, you know, you feel like you've really achieved something from there. Well, that's it's amazing. The, that's, like, seriously, it's different drivers. Yeah, look, that's the goal. Yeah. This, this was not a driver school and it was not a, a talent search. Yeah. It was a place to evaluate where you're at, yeah. work out what you need, need to do to, to be better. Uh, and see how you stack up against our factory drivers in high performance quality race cars. We've done that and they've seen it and they've all improved and they can all now go home and they know exactly what they need to do and they know exactly where they're at. That's great. Mm -hmm. so, anyway, to uh, all the participants, to the Jerry and crew, yeah. thanks very much, Marcus. Great job on what you've done this week. Yeah. To the Simmons Plains, to the basketball, yep. great Tasmanian weather, great Tasmanian <laughs> food. We love Tassie. Hey? And look, a big thank you to the drivers. I mean, the six drivers we selected have just done an outstanding job for us. They've respected our team and our cars, um, you know, and I'm really proud of what they've done. Yeah, that's it. And the, and the team, mate. That's it, and, and the, the team. team. It's got our team, that's great. So anyway, we'll look forward to version two when we decide to do it, eh? Let's do it. Yeah.